guys, welcome to Barak Mitsubishi. My name is Andrew and today we'll be looking at a 2013 Ford EcoSport. As you can see, you've got this really nice aggressive look at the front with your notch bar. You do have your wide headlights as well and it does come with fog lights. Looking at the first alloy wheel, as you can see, um, I can't see any damages on that wheel which is a good sign, it's just a little bit dirty as you can see but um, the black spots that you can see is not, it's not scratches or damage. Looking at the side you've got your uh, indicators on the side mirror rather than having on the panel itself. It is a keyless entry, um, as you can see that button over here is to lock and unlock by clicking on it. Now looking at the second alloy wheel, same thing, I do not see any uh, scratches on that wheel, there's just a few small markings but nothing major um, and you would actually have to come really close. The other thing I noticed as well is you do have a lot of tread on that tire which obviously is a good sign. Now looking at the back of the car, as you can see, you've got your EcoSport and Ford badging. You do have your spare wheel on the actual boot itself. Let me open. So you've, so you've got the actual door handle over here, which was hard to actually see it. Um, as you can see, all you have to do is just click on it and then you would have to unlock it first. actually don't know how to open this but basically that's the handle where you can open the boot so you can have a, a look inside now looking at the third alloy wheel this is usually the most common wheel that gets dirty or damaged uh, but I, I can't see any of that and uh, that just basically tells you that the previous owner would have taken care of the vehicle the other thing I noticed is there, there isn't dents or damages on the paint from the outside which is a good sign that obviously the person has taken care of it. Now looking at the fourth alloy wheel, same thing, can't see any damages uh, or scratches on that wheel which is a good sign. Indicators are still in the side mirror which is also an advantage. Now we're going to have a look in the interior. So I can see just a few markings on the side. That's obviously from getting in and out of the car, but don't forget it is a used vehicle, so you'll get your normal wear and tear. On the side door, can't see any markings, markings which is a good sign as well. It is a manual car. Seats are in, in a good condition as well. I can't see any um, stains or anything which is a good sign just a few markings here and there which I'll try and point out I'll try and zoom in as well as, so you guys can see it so there's just a few markings over here and over here just two but that's it like I said there is a used vehicle so you'll expect that so it is, you do have your start and stop button as well. You've got your automatic windows on the right hand side and you've got your mirror adjusters uh, right and left hand side on the door. You've also got your cruise control settings on the steering wheel. Steering wheel looks in good condition so can't see any uh, scratches on there or any markings which is a good sign. You've also got your Bluetooth seeking mode on the left hand side. You've got your small screen over here. Um, which has your Bluetooth phone calls as well and FM radio. Um, as you can see, you've got your menu, phone, AOX, radio, and CD. Um, and then on the right hand side is your phone calls if you wanted to enter a number and call someone rather than using your phone. You've also got your central locking and hazard, right, uh, hazard lights below that. You've also got your air conditioning settings over here. And then you've got uh, storage or um, if you wanted to put your coins or keys over here. You've also got the 12 volt socket and the USB and AOX over here, which is pretty handy. And you've got more storage over here. So you will realistically, you've got three cup holders. I'll quickly pop out so you can have a look at the back seats. So 
same thing it does look pretty good you've also got a 12 volt socket over here so if someone in the back seat wanted to um, charge their phone you've got storage over here as well at the back so you can put the seats down I do like this color as well with the engine size it's a um, one liter three cylinder engine that produces a power of 92 kilowatts with a torque of 170 newton meters you've also got a fuel consumption combined of 5.7 liters per 100 kilometers Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Andrew. Please give us a call on 9907055 to inquire about the vehicle or book an inspection. Please ask us about the mechanical protection plan which will invest this car. Uh, so Sorry, you can invest uh, into this car uh, and protect it for 5 years or 200,000 kilometers on the odometer. It will also provide you 10 years roadside assistance. If you have any questions, give us a call. Thank you again for watching this video. My name is Andrew and our number is 9907